In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, two controls that are used to display text on the web page. And these controls are the label control and the literal control. So um, the literal control can uh, only be used to display text that will not require any special formatting. So if you don't need to uh, format the text that you want to display on the page, then you can use the uh, literal control because it doesn't support any uh, special formatting that you can do to the text. But the label will allow you to do uh, special formatting to your text. Uh, you can use the label as an HTML tag so you can place uh, the contents uh, inside the tag rather than use the text property. Uh, I'm going to explain what I mean by the statement in this minute. Uh, you can use the property window to change some of the properties uh, just as you know you can use the um, uh, the property window to change the uh, characteristics of any of the uh, uh, controls inside uh, ASP.NET so you can change the back color the tooltip the border color the font all these things can be changed on the uh, label control but not on the uh, literal controls so literal control does not support any of the formatting that label supports and does not render its uh, content in a span tag. It is just for very simple use. So let's head over to uh, VWD 2008. So and let's uh, use some examples. So if you go under the standard controls and what I've noticed is sometimes these are not arranged alphabetically so it might be difficult for you to actually find what you're looking for. So what you want to do in that case is to right click on the heading and just uh, choose sort items alphabetically so it's going to sort them alphabetically so it's very easy for you to find what you're looking for. So now we're looking for label which is going to be under L so let's drag that to our page and as you can see in the property window because it's been currently being selected we get all the properties of the label and you see that we have a lot of uh, uh, properties here to change we can change the back color let's change the back color to uh, say for example yellow and uh, we can change the, the border color let's change that to uh, some you know just choose colors at random we can uh, actually apply CSS and we're going to be doing some CSS and some uh, style sheets and it's better to use uh, CSS rather than to format the color uh, the way I was, uh, I've been doing here. So um, you can uh, also theme it which you're going to be doing as well. And you can change the font color. The font color will be the color of the font. So let's change that to red and uh, uh, so let's change the text on the uh, label. So let's say this uh, this is a label yep label okay so now let's uh, see what it looks like if we click away we can see that all the special formatting that we applied as that we uh, yes that we applied has been uh, that we chosen has been applied to the label here so uh, if we go to the source code so we can see that there is a uh, an attribute inside the ASP label tag that says text so this is where your text will be populated so what I was explaining to you before in the presentation is that uh, instead of using this particular type you can actually take out this text and between the two tags you can also write something that you can so let's write the same thing this is another way to display text instead of using the text property you can also uh, display your text like so if you go back to the design view you can see that uh, now it's back there and it's also been applied to the text property here but instead of using the text uh, attribute we can actually place it between the two tags so you can do that as well if you work in the uh, source view so another thing that uh, okay so let's see now now that we've talked about uh, the label control let's, let's talk about the next control which is called the literal control so let's just drag one onto the form and just right off the bat you can see that the properties that is being supported by the literal control is just very few you can only set if it's going to be visible when you run your website if we allow any if you can enable the view state which we talked about before and the mode so we can also set the text here so let's set the text 
text this is really true control so what happened is uh, it supports another um, another properties that uh, the label doesn't con uh, doesn't support which is uh, the mode and I'm going to uh, use it, an example to show you what this is for see actually let me drag uh, two more okay this one I'm going to do. I'm going to delete the text here and I'm going to write uh, something very simple this is how you bold a text so say for example I'm teaching somebody how to uh, bold a text and I've written this because this is how you bold a text so let's drag another so this mode is in transform so let's drag another literal control to our form and we're going to change the mode on this one okay let's wait let's wait for the website to okay so this is literal 2 now let's change the mode to pass through and let's put the same text inside there so what happened it just displayed as well so now what should happen to the final um, okay literal 3 the text will be that and the if we encode so as you can see we get different results so the reason is because this first two we always display the HTML tag that you put inside of them one of them will display the HTML tag the other one will display the pass-through will display the content of the control without encoding it whereas the encode will display the content of the control after the HTML encoding so as you can see this one by itself we always display the HTML that uh, you have on the page. So this is exactly the result I was trying to get because I was trying to show the people how you uh, bold a text and this is exactly what I was um, looking for. So uh, this is the way you display text on a page using literal control and the label control. The label control allows you special formatting. The literal control doesn't allow you special formatting. So that's the difference between them. So I, f I really um, re recommend you to use um, label most of the time. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.